Hi, it's Miss Pretzel at the Appleton West Library, and I'm book talking a romance novel that I just really enjoyed. Maybe laugh out loud at certain points. All right, so the author, it's called Chuck and Mate, and the author is Allie Hazelwood. It is up. Allie Hazelwood says this is a chess book she was always wanted to write in her head, and after her debut novel, The Love Hypothesis, was published, then she was writing this. Uh, she does play chess, but she's not very good at it. But she's had this story kind of in her head for a long time. So Mallory is our main character, and Mallory was enamored with chess as a child. Her dad was a grandmaster, but at age 13, there's a split with her dad and the family, and she now hates chess, wants nothing to do with it. Mallory is now 18. Uh, it does start out where she is and still in school because she's talking about like a in a class and a teacher or something going on. Uh, but it's very close to graduation. Uh, her best friend and other people are going to be going off to college. Mallory, uh, like who, like I said, has given up on chess, has also now become the main family support, financial supporter of her family because her mother has a, a chronic illness and she has two younger siblings. So she is also working as an auto mechanic and she has no plans. Like that's that's what she's gonna do. She has no plans for college or anything. Well, her best friend, Easton, who is who um you know, kinda is not feeling like great about Mallory's choices, uh, convinces Mallory to be part of a team chess team for a charity tournament well Mallory doesn't want to do this she agrees and it is a chess tournament in New York City because they live in New Jersey which is pretty close and unbeknownst to Mallory one of the people she gets paired up with happens to be Nolan Sawyer uh, and Nolan is the number one chess champion in the world and Mallory doesn't know who he is and she beats him <laughs> And pretty easily too. So um, that gets his attention, but it gets other people's attention as well. And she is kind of sucked into the world of competitive chess. And certain things happen where she like has to do this. She doesn't feel like she has a choice anymore because of financial considerations. And it's, like I said, there were points, like there's a point where uh, no, Mallory's mom invites Nolan to dinner. Like, and Mallory's like, no. Oh! And her younger siblings are just, they embarrass her so hilariously. <laughs> if it were me, it would not be so, hilarious. So, like I said, but Nolan Sawyer is this just handsome, wonderful chess player. And Mallory's just this, you know, like, it has got all the romantic tropes you either love or hate. Uh, but like I said, it was a perfect book for me at the perfect time. I needed something that was just fun and light and it's got some serious topics. Like I said, there's uh, Mallory's split with her dad. Uh, there's guilt and grief over different things for both her and for Nolan. Nolan, it would be for with his grandfather. Um, there's the they talk about how competitive chess is dominated by men so much to the point where women have created their own league because they the men are awful to them. So that's an that's a huge issue in this. I just really, really enjoyed this book. And it's not super long. So yay for those people who don't like longer books. But I felt it was totally complete in and of itself. So I, as you, if you haven't figured it out, I highly recommend this. But if romance is not your cup of tea, I will help you find something else. Have a fantastic day and keep on reading.